Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Um, this time I am vlogging on my camera just because I've got quite a lot of content that I need to film this week on my cha um, on my camera, sorry, my main channel. So I wanted to save my battery and my like memory card storage for those videos. But yeah, I'm back with a vlog today. This feels like my old school uni vlogs because I used to vlog on my phone all through uni. Um, so I think the plan today is to do a daily vlog just because I've got a lot of content that I want to film today um, but if I don't end up filming a lot for this vlog today then I'll take it over into um, the rest of the week but yes it's Monday today it's about 7.45 in the morning um, my brain's not quite functioning yet but I've just poured myself coffee and um, I'm going to set up Sex and City on my laptop and then just do some planning. I planned out most of my week last night in the evening, but there's just a couple of bits that I sort of remembered and um, yeah, I want to write down. Sorry, I'm probably making you feel really seasick whipping you around. Let's just get in some water. It has snowed so much the last couple of days here. I mean, I know everyone's like talking about the snow and everyone's had the snow, so it's, you know, I was getting a bit sick of everyone talking about it, but. I've never known it to snow so much since living up here. Like, it's really weird. Right, so yes, I'm just going to do this for a little bit. Um, main reason I'm doing this now, instead of jumping straight into work, is because we need to go, I need to nip to the corner shop. There's just a couple of boring bits we need to get, but it doesn't open yet for another like hour or so. So I thought I'd get all this done, let myself wake up. Oh my God, where's my laptop charger? Let myself wake up and everything um, and then I'll take myself on a little walk and we'll be good to go. only a, a light dusting outside like it's not like thick snow anywhere but it's so icy like I'm trying so hard not to slip up right now but anyway I'm on my way to the shop I think it's open now he's hoping it smells so bad like rotting all around here I have no idea why do you know I remember when we first started entering with masks in the summer and it was like really uncomfortable because you get even hotter and feel a bit like muggy underneath the mask but now in this weather it's such a nice thing to have like I've just taken it off from being in the shop and it's made my face so warm because my nose goes really red and cold whenever it's even a little bit chilly outside so I've just noticed there's a fence here with barbed wire on top of it around the house I've never noticed that before I apologise if I look different, I've just done that thing that I remember you can do where you can turn off the mirroring front camera, so I don't know if that's affected how I look, but um, I'm starving now, um, not a far walk, it's just like woken my body up I think. Um, we're at that point in the food shop where like we're running out of food, we've still got like a dinner or two in the cupboard, so it's not time to do one yet, like I think we'll do one tomorrow, but we're running out of things to eat in the day so I think I might put some crumpets on because I love crumpets I think that's what I'm gonna do it's so chilly like I'm literally sat here shivering um but I'm in the room now I've done a little bit um on my laptop but I'm all woken up I've had breakfast and everything it's about what time is it about half past nine now um and I've just sort of been poodling but I'm gonna put you down because I'm gonna change the bedding hi um and just do a little bit of tidying. That's so bad. I need to saw that. But struggles of living in a flat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change the bedding, do some like for breezing. Um, I need to put some washing on, put some clean washing away. So yeah, that's what I'll do now before I sit down and sit on my laptop all day. Uh, 
um, a couple of weeks ago, I got sent this book. Um, I got a message from my manager saying that Penguin Publishing wanted to send me this book because apparently it's like the next big sort of true crime fiction book and it was so lovely of them like thank you so much for i'm not sure if you'll be watching this but um i'm so excited to read this so it's called we keep the dead close um, and there are a lot of like testimonials a lot of good reviews given by some celebrities that have read this so i'm really excited to start this it's just been on my pile of parcels that i've received and that like, haven't properly opened yet so i'm gonna post this on my instagram story as well because i find that if i update something on my instagram story then i'm more likely to like remember to update you guys on how i'm getting on with it so yeah i haven't started it yet but i am very very excited um i think it's about a murder at harvard um like years before and the investigation all these years later so i'm very very excited to read this it's like a good length book as well so i just thought i'd mention that to you guys if you guys are readers i know now's a good time if you're not already a reader to sort of invest a little bit of time into um taking some time out and reading so i'll let you know how i get on with this hopefully in the next couple of vlogs i'll have finished it if i get the chance depending on my workload but yeah just thought i'd update you guys because in uni i used to update you guys on like book hauls and how i'm getting on with books all the time i don't get the chance to read as much anymore because my workload is so heavy but um since i did get sent this one i'm very very excited to read it actually i hadn't heard of it until that email and then when i looked at the reviews online they seemed very very good so i thought i'll let you guys know and then i can let you know my thoughts on it whether i think you guys will enjoy it but if any of you have read this already then do let me know um don't spoil anything for me but i'm excited so beds made in here um candles are on so it should smell nice part of me is tempted to do some work in here today because i just tidied and sometimes like i have my dining table where i do my work it's like my office space my desk space um but sometimes it's like nice to have a bit of a change of environment and in here because it's so tidy i shouldn't really struggle like i should feel like i should be able to focus i don't know anyway i need to go do some washing and put some clean washing away so that's next on my to-do list So I put the washing on, so that's one thing ticked off my to-do list today. Um, I, I do have a bunch of work that I need to do on my laptop and stuff, but I just wanted to get as many of these like home bits, like tasks done before I just sit down and smash at work because I find that if things are messy and there's loads of things I need to do, my mind is like cluttered. So they're done. Uh, what I'm going to do now is import the clips I filmed so far. Um, into my editing software so they're off my phone and I can keep my space um, free for more clips and probably then start research I think while I'm here. Just made myself a cup of tea but now I am looking for some royalty free music for this vlog. Um, I've been using the same ones for a while and it's just not it. And then I was just looking for something a little bit different but it's always hard finding royalty free music. I'm sure if any of you have made any YouTube videos before, it's just hard. Um, finding one, something that's actually good. Um, and two, something that is completely royalty free. I've had incidents in the past where I've used like the music and then I've done all the right things. You know, said all the right things in the description, linked everything and whatnot. But then it's been like flagged for copyright. So sometimes it's just like trial and error. But I usually find it safest, um, unless you want to sort of pay for like one of these subscription services, it's usually safest to use the stuff that's on YouTube, but that just means it's quite a task sifting through it all because there is a lot on there. Right, so now is time for the job that I've been dreading. I need to sort out a bunch of my finances. It's not a bad job, it's just boring and long. Um, just go through a bunch of invoices, things like that, budgeting. I know I'll feel much better once I've actually done it, 
but right that task is all done in reality it took me like half an hour 45 minutes not long at all but it's just one of those tasks that I really despise doing I find it really like tedious and I avoid doing which I shouldn't but that's how it is so on to the next thing um what have I got to do next uh, I've got to do some emails and then I'm going to do some research. So while doing my work, I was uh, listening to one of the episodes of the I Love You So Much podcast by Kenzie Elizabeth, who if you don't watch on YouTube, I absolutely love her videos. I've literally subscribed to her for years and she does like regular vlogs, um, morning and evening routines, things like that. And they're just really satisfying to watch, really calming. And they always get me like feeling really motivated and productive so if you love sort of these like vlogs hers are great and she has a fantastic podcast like she's just one of those incredible women who like does so much um she's so motivating um so yes i've just been listening to one of those episodes i just thought i'd mention it because i've been loving it recently and uh, what i'm going to do now i'm going to put on some music and i'm going to finish off the research i've pretty much finished this piece of research um for Wednesday's video I just want to go back over it make sure I haven't missed anything out make sure everything aligns with all the sources and everything like that and then I'm going to start on the next bunch because the plan is depending on my workload uh the plan is to have a week of uploads again the first week of February um I want to do one again in February realistically I'd love to do one every month um, because I know you guys enjoy these week of uploads I just there are a lot of work and a lot of prep so I'll be starting that prep now like all the research um I try and do it so that I have like days where I'm I don't have to get ready I can just sit and do loads of research and sort of do as much as I can and then the days when I do get ready and I need to film I can bulk film so I'm not constantly researching and filming every single day but because the 1st of February is literally next week, um, I'm sort of bulk filming. No, bulk editing. No. Oh my goodness. One of those days. Bulk researching everything now. So that's the plan. Get this week's videos done and out of the way. Although I've just realised I have scheduled more than a week. Have I scheduled more than a week? One, two, three, four five six seven eight okay i've got eight uploads but that's about right because i upload usually on wednesdays and sundays um and those eight uploads cover for sunday to sunday so it's an extra video but otherwise it will throw my schedule out of whack so yes and then the wednesday after that i think i've got another psychology video which i haven't done in a while so that's what i'm gonna do now get going not very interesting but i will just time lapse it for you guys this unfortunately is how i spend most of my days but it's a busy busy research day today so at least i can film some bits because i'm not like you know filming in front of my camera so let's get to work It is now about half two. Um, we've just finished having lunch. Just had some soup, which was lovely. So I'm gonna put them on a tripod. Oh, um, back in the room now. I feel my energy dipping a little bit because I've been up quite a while and kind of just like focusing the whole time. So I just made myself another coffee. I'm trying, I've been really good at limiting my coffee intake um, because I drink black coffee. Um, it's obviously a lot of caffeine if I have like multiple in a day, but uh, today I've made an exception. Usually I stick to one a day and then if I feel like I want a hot drink, I'll have a cup of tea. But the plus side of me drinking black coffee is that whenever I do have coffee, I don't have any like sugar or milk in it. So that's a bonus. But anyway, 
back to doing some more research um so only half two so hopefully once i've had this coffee once it's cooled down i'll get another energy boost and then i could just keep going i think i'm going to have a bit of a relaxation evening tonight like i want a bath nothing major but where it's been quite cold and stuff today i'm probably just gonna have quite a chill evening but i also part of me also wants to tidy the front room a little bit again it's not um dirty because we've done like a clean uh the other day it's just more like i've got bits out in my workspace and the coffee table so if i have the energy i might do that a bit later but yeah i'm just gonna get to work now it's a little bit later i had to take a brief break um about quarter to four now we just had to nip to ross's band's practice room obviously since lockdown and everything they haven't been able to go in there practice or anything so all of their stuff is in there but um because it's all just been left in there ross wanted to grab a couple of his bits so yeah there's a lot of heavy lifting involved there but back now back to research before i sort dinner out a little bit of a change it's now tuesday evening um so yesterday vlog was going really well i was actually really really not happy with it i was feeling really motivated i knew i could vlog loads in the evening because i was making a really nice dinner which actually i'll leave the recipe for down below um it was like a one pot chicken dish um it was like creamy and lovely we served it with bread i'll leave the recipe down below i'm not, not really selling it but it was so lovely so if you're looking for some like slightly different but easy and like cheap affordable um dinner ideas i'll leave that down below anyway um yeah i was planning on having a pamper evening last night as well and vlogging that but i basically received i'm not going to go into too much detail i basically received some news yesterday completely unexpected um that because it was so unexpected i had to basically drop everything and figure a bunch of things out nothing drastic like i'm okay everyone in my life is okay it just i'm gonna address it sort of near the time and it becomes more relevant to my life um i'll address it so everything's okay i'm good i just had to figure a lot out last night and i kind of had a little freak out because i'm someone that i plan my entire life um i'm very very organized and then when something happens to change those plans, like the plans are now still going ahead just soon, way sooner than expected. So it just sort of threw me off my original plan. And because of that, I'm a little bit of not a control freak. I just, I'm a micromanager. So it just threw me, um, but it's all good. I've had today to basically finish sorting everything I need out for that, which is fab. So that is all good now. We are moving ahead. Um, and aside from that, I just did some work for my VA work today. So because of oh, the setback of last night, I'm a little bit behind on where I wanted to be for True Crime Week. But that's absolutely fine because I've not got a lot, obviously, planned for the rest of the week. Um, so I think tomorrow's going to be a good day. So tomorrow my plan is I need to get up early. I need to send some emails, really important emails, to sort of close off some bits. Um for the, the chaos that happened last night um and then i need to film um do a food shop and then do more research that's the plan and hopefully in the meantime as well maybe get some like tiktoks or something done because i've been really lacking on the um short video content recently just because i've been so focused on like true crime week and my main channel so yeah that's completely thrown this vlog out of whack. I apologise. Sometimes these things just happen. I think I've just realised recently, like, I've had to come to this realisation that I can plan so much in my life and I can be in control of so much, but there are periods of your life that things just happen and you can't do anything about them. And in my experience, <laughs> whenever that's happened, it's it kind of seems like they come in phases where everything just comes at you, like, everything's thrown at you and you feel like you're, like, drowning in all this these things you gotta deal with um but those times pass so that's what i've been learning recently that i literally cannot predict everything that's going to happen to me i cannot preempt them sometimes they just happen and at the minute there's just a lot happening but if i keep going on the track that i'm going on right now with you know how motivated i am and how much i'm working then obviously it'll all get fixed and pay off so yeah little bit of tuesday evening motivation now so i think because of how 
long or how short this vlog is um, because I obviously didn't get to finish off my evening yesterday. I think I might continue the vlog tomorrow because um, obviously I was planning on a day in my life, but simply because I've got so much to do tomorrow, I won't have as much vlog content, but still it'll be some more footage for you guys. So that's the plan. Yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.